Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In this video, I will show you how to get your own Google Knowledge Palette pa or panel. So first of all, what you need to do is have a Gmail account. So basically, you just go ahead to Google and when to create Google account and any browser, any kind of browser. And from there, you go here, create a, a Gmail account and create it for myself or to manage a business. So here, what you have to do, your name, your last name, your email, password, etc. Uh, so for example, we put something like that, something like that. Here, 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 we add some numbers. And yeah, something like that we do the work. We add some numbers, we add some numbers. And here we go. Here you put your, uh, your, here's something like that let's make it look something like so your uh, year of birth is uh, something like that next and here we go now after you've done with all of that you go to google and you do this so you search to uh, google knowledge panel so here you click on this and you get verified on google first after you get verified on google so how you can get actually verified you just have to create your own google go to google search search yourself an entity to present find its knowledge panel and from here you click claims its knowledge panel and etc you do all of these steps and that's how you can actually get verified after that you go and update your google knowledge panel how to do so you just have to follow these steps that are in here and so as you can see here there is like basically about eight steps which is going to search sign in check that your your web activity is turned on uh search for uh, a knowledge panel and after that click on suggest edit uh then you click on information click the information that you want to change and here in the response box that opens you have to change this change why you believe your suggestion should replace the existing content if applica uh, if applicable any pub uh, publicly uh, acceptable URLs that confirms your suggestion changes and here you click change or send and that's how you can get your thing done so that's how you can do it so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video